What is going on guys, welcome back to another Rugby 20 video on the Rugby Channel. Today we have absolutely massive news. Rugby 20 have released these pictures over on Twitter and Facebook, uh, revealing that you will get to edit and make the kits and logos of, well, whatever team you want. Uh, there's more information to go into it, so let's get into the video. Welcome back to another Rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload Rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Okay, so over on Twitter and Facebook, Rugby20 went ahead and revealed some two, well, two more new screenshots uh, of the upcoming upcoming game, which will be released in three days from now. Uh, they revealed the fact that in my squad mode and solo mode, you will get to make your own team, uh, as well as make its logo. As you can see here, there's a custom-made logo here. Uh, the zero will replicate what rating the squad is the moment you put players into it. Uh, so you will get to use this in career mode. And you will also go ahead and get to use it in the online modes as well. So you'll get to use your squad against somebody else's squad online. Uh, which I think is absolutely amazing. Uh, one thing though, as of right now, there are only four teams that you will get to make. Uh, they may up that eventually, but at the moment you can only make four. So uh, you can't go ahead and make the whole Super Rugby franchise as of yet. Uh, but you will get to make at least four teams, which I think is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, you'll go ahead and be able to make like your own England team if you really wanted to and put all the England players in it uh, and vice versa with like the All Blacks and stuff. The players are in the game license. You'll get to go ahead and put them into your own All Blacks team, uh, which is pretty awesome. Like I said, you'll get to basically make a club uh, team or an international team. Uh, I mean, it'll, on paper, it'll be both like the same thing, but it kind of solves a lot of issues with the licensing. Uh, so, for example, with the Super Rugby not being licensed in the game, uh, you'll now get to make, so let's say, your favourite team or your favourite two teams. Uh, you'll get to make an American League or whatever because America are licensed in this game as well as Canada. Uh, so you can go ahead and put those players into your squad and then basically name it as, like, I don't know, your Major League Rugby team or whatever. Uh, which I think is absolutely amazing. I don't know the limits of the logo creator. Uh, I mean, I know you get to change colors and they probably give you a load of different shapes and stuff to pick from uh, But I don't know how far you can go when it comes to making a logo. Are you allowed to uh, import your own pictures? Uh, are you allowed to put names and stuff on it? I have no idea uh, But I think it is a really really cool uh, Sort of mode and feature that we never really thought was ever going to appear in rugby 20 They never mentioned it and to be fair they could, did a pretty good job to keep it secret uh, up until now anyway, uh, so next up, I'm going to show you another screenshot which you saw at the start of the video uh, It'll be changing over in a little bit so stay tuned for that bit uh, But yeah, like I said, this is basically like the four teams that you'll get to make uh, Well, obviously four being the maximum limit uh, You'll get to select from here So when it comes to my squad mode, you can select the team which you want to pick and play your career mode with uh, And then you can scroll through them and then manage, I'd imagine that would be like set plays and stuff. And then customize will obviously be change the logo colors and change the kit and everything like that. And the kit, like designer, I thought is probably the best thing uh, that is announced. Well, the most recently announced thing anyway. Uh, and that's just because we don't really get that in sports games. We haven't had that in Madden for a long time. Uh, we haven't had that in FIFA either. So to have something like this in a sports game is just so exciting to see. Uh, I mean, to have all these different designs you can pick from, uh, all these different color shades, pick the color of the shorts, the socks, uh, make the logo yourself on a console game as well. You don't really get this much. And the final tab there you can see as well, you actually get to design the ball which you will be using. Uh, which is, again, another thing that we never, ever see in a rugby game, which I think is just so, so cool. Uh, and I'm over the moon with this whole new feature, to be honest with you. And what I also think is pretty awesome as well is the fact the logo will actually appear on the kit as well. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, that's kind of a standard thing that you would expect when it comes to customizing, but you'll be surprised. Uh, a lot of games, you'll, they'll let you design the logo and the logo will appear on the menus and stuff, but it won't actually ever see, you won't see it on the actual kit. So I thought that was pretty awesome, uh, and the only other thing that would make this mode absolutely insane would be the option to pick what different sponsors to have on your kit. Uh, yeah, okay, it's not really an essential thing you want to see, but they should really have like either official sponsors or fake sponsors that you'll get to put on a kit, because I think that will just make it 100% absolutely amazing. 
Uh, but as of right now, I think it's pretty awesome to have this anyway, because a lot of people didn't think this was ever going to happen, and Rugby Challenge would be the only game, uh, world rugby game, that we'll get to see customising in. Uh, but I think Rugby 20 have really outdone themselves with this. I think it's a pretty awesome thing. Uh, the only thing I'm hoping for now, like I said, is to have sponsors, uh, unofficial ones or whatever, and then obviously to have a better limit how many teams you can make. Four, I don't think, is enough. I think there should be more teams to be able to... Like, to uh, how, like, how, how would I explain it? It's like to have more teams that you can make. I think that would be uh, really cool. Maybe they can do that in an update or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe it'll break the game if you have any more than that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, really shocked with this and absolutely amazing news. Okay, guys, without further ado, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Please make sure you go ahead out and smash the like button to show your support and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, are you now going to buy Rugby 20 or are you not? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week, guaranteed. And we are going to be covering Rugby 20, Rugby Challenge 4 is what we cover, as well as Six Nations and basically anything to do with rugby. So if you're a sports fan or a rugby fan, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, click the notification button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And yeah, thank you so much for, for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I've been Andrew. I will see you in another episode. Peace out, guys.